Hello again and welcome back. This video was recorded on Valentine's Day, so happy Heart Day family! I'm so excited we got our third snow day of the season, and even more excited that it was followed by a beautiful sunny day. Perfect for treasure hunting adventures. Because in this video, that's what we're doing. We're going off into the park to find an ancient Egyptian artifact. Like, for real. It's a beautiful day though. So the other day we were on the east side or on the west side. And this is the Museum of Natural History. And I'm feeling a little Jaded with my surroundings at the moment, so we're gonna go seek out just a little bit of adventure. And I'm gonna show you something really unexpected in this park. I'm afraid most of this city is going to be me sniffling today, but I'm out here doing it. Very tired. Have a little bit of a cold. That's okay. We have some teeny, teeny, tiny snow mounts left. So, like I said, we're going to go a different direction today. That's looking uptown toward the track. And if we were to go in here and go that way, the duck pond, or not the duck pond, the boat pond is right down there. But we're gonna go north today toward the Met Museum. But I'll show you right down here first so you know where we are. Since by now you're probably getting sick of these. It's very different in winter. Alright, so now you might know where we are. We're looking at the boat pond. Cute little bridge. Remember, you couldn't even see this with all the trees before. We're gonna go this way. There's really not much snow left. I'm kind of surprised. But also a little thankful because I don't need to be sliding around in it. So we're gonna pass the Swedish cottage where we went through Shakespeare's garden and Belvedere Castle straight up there and this time we're gonna hang a right at the Shakespeare theater all right we're turning up to under construction. We've gone around the construction of the theater and this is the Great Lawn. 
And this is a bunch of baseball fields. It looks like some kind of snowman building competition out here. Can you see them? Here's one, two, three. They're all the way out. If we look straight across, that's the Met. And we're going up here. Snow, snow, snow. And look at that. Our castle. Very unexpected. But in comparison, having a little castle back here will make a little more sense than what we're going to go find now. Because we're actually in search of ancient ruins. That's right. We're from Egypt. Out here. over here and behind the museum is something really unexpected there is an Egyptian obelisk back here um, it's one of four from the same location uh, and the others are scattered throughout um, Europe and one is still in Cairo so I'm gonna show this thing to you it's really cool side of the park right now. We just walked straight across from the Museum of Natural History over to the Met. And if you walk right behind it, you'll find this. I guess it was a little too big to fit inside the museum. these baseball fields sitting here is a legitimate Egyptian artifact. I don't remember the whole story and to be honest I was pretty jet-lagged when I first heard it in London but four of these were found So one came to the States, one was sent to London, and one was sent to Paris, and the fourth one remains in Egypt. And by random chance, I've seen three of the four. When I first came up here and saw this one, I didn't think anything of it. And then years later, when I went to London, I saw it, its sister down by the Thames. And then a few years after that, in Paris, we saw the third one. Ooh, 
Oh, it's nice. Just sitting here in the ice in New York City. The translations all around on the plaques. What's most interesting to me about this is, since I've seen a couple of them, is how each of them is weathered differently. Like you can tell how this one's pretty severely weathered. So was the one in London. Um, and the one in London, if I remember correctly, they, they didn't really know what to do with it when it came on the ship. So instead of being prepared, they ended up just kind of letting it float free in the Thames, I think for a few years before they actually built something to Paris looked really nice though. A little different from the sun in the sand in Egypt. It's um, below freezing right now. It's so cold. Yeah. Just wanted to show you something a little different today. This I think definitely qualifies as different. about anything at this moment to just be warm and be able to feel my face. It's not the cold temperatures of the wind, but pretty cold. Very cold. Alright. Happy Valentine's Day. I love you. You're welcome, family. All right. I'm really going in this time. It is so cold. <laughs> this is this is like our third winter. It was 60 degrees like three days ago. This is just ridiculous. I've never been one to just be like, oh, I'm ready for summer. I hate summer. I hate being hot. But I want nothing more than to just like be on fire right now. <laughs> I'm a little over this. But it does make it more interesting for me and you. Thank you for the hat. I need coffee and I need a nap and I really want to pet this dog. There's so many puppies. I miss puppies. All right, I'm going home to my warm apartment and my super fat cuddly kitten and my husband we're gonna have coffee and eat salmon and 
things and thoughts will hopefully follow me home. I don't know at this point. I just don't know, guys. But <laughs> pretty cool. Ha, ha, ha.